Hello, everybody. So today's topic is on uh, difficulty swallowing. Uh, and the medical term for this is called dysphagia. Um, and if you look down below this video, you can see how that's spelled. Um, so dysphagia is a fairly common problem. Uh, and it seems like it's, it's a very scary thing to a lot of people when, if they develop this, um, because obviously it's important that we be able to swallow to eat and drink. Um, but fortunately, this problem is usually pretty easily managed in most people. And while there's a laundry list of reasons that people can develop difficulty swallowing, most of those reasons are not terrible problems, uh, like cancers and tumors and things like that. Um, in fact, uh, you know, the most common reason that, that I see in my practice for dysphagia is actually acid reflux. Um, and, you know, the acid from the stomach's coming up into the chest and the throat, um, and it irritates the muscles in the swallowing uh, passage. And because of that, the muscles don't quite coordinate properly. And so people have uh, kind of difficulty with swallowing and it takes a little bit of extra effort to get things down sometimes. Um, so, you know, that's one of many reasons, but it's, it's certainly one of the more common reasons that we see for uh, patients to have difficulty swallowing. So, uh, you know, this is a, sort of a broad topic, I think. So it's hard for me to, to sort of give specific stuff in this video. Um, you know, for someone who comes to see me complaining of difficulty swallowing, you know, I, a lot of my evaluation is really just asking questions and, you know, hearing what, what the patient's history is, you know, have they had surgery on their neck or their throat? Uh, have, do they have other medical problems? Do they have acid reflux or heartburn? Um, are they a smoker? Uh, and, and so on. A lot of different questions to try and narrow down, you know, different potential causes. Um, at that point, the, you know, the examination for uh, difficulty swallowing, really, I'd say the most important part is being able to get a look at the inside of the throat. Um, so we typically use uh, my flexible fiber optic scope. And with that, I'm able to go through the nose, look down the back of the throat and kind of see the, the back of the tongue, the voice box, um, and the sort of the top of the esophagus as things start to go down. And with that way, usually we can see you know, signs of acid reflux or other structural problems that might be contributing to uh, the difficulty swallowing. Um, you know, with, you know, kind of that history and exam, usually I have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Uh, in some patients, uh, it can be helpful to actually go to the radiologist and do what's called a barium swallow. So this is basically an x-ray where the patient will swallow uh, a liquid, sort of this chalky white stuff that doesn't taste great, but uh, it shows up white on the x-ray as it goes down. And that can show signs for narrow spots in the esophagus uh, and, you know, reflux and other problems. Um, so with all of that information, you know, usually we can come up with uh, some sort of treatment plan to help the patients to swallow better. Uh, and I'm, I'm able to do some of the treatments and sometimes we need to send to either a gastroenterologist or even a general surgeon, uh, depending on what the problem is. So anyway, I hope that's uh, helpful, sort of a brief introductory overview of dysphagia or difficulty swallowing. Uh, and if you have that kind of problem, uh, come and see me and I can help you out. Have a great day.